Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. Thanks for joining me in the next video in the Do More with Click Tips and Tricks Edition series. In the last video, I showed you how to connect a Click Cloud Analytics app to a Click Automate workflow and simply sending a message by clicking a button. In this video, we're going to now add input parameters in the Click Cloud Analytics app and have it dynamically send whatever we type in in an input box into that message. Okay, so let's jump right into it. I'm going to grab a variable input and just drop it on the canvas and we'll give it a title a subject. Then I'm going to go to variables and we're going to create a new variable. I like to use the convention of our lowercase v and then the name of the context of the item I'll be using in this case subject for the email. Definition can be whatever you want. In this case, this is a test subject one, two, three, four, five, six click create and now we have our variable now we're going to associate our variable to the variable input under variable in the appearance section you can see now we have the subject and that's shown as an input box then I'm going to choose my button and as we showed earlier it's going to execute the automation called send customer message video but now we're going to add a parameter now this is going to send key value pairs to the automate workflow. So the key could be whatever you want. I'm just going to call this one auto sub. And then the value, if I go to the expression editor and type in the letter V, you can see the autocomplete automatically finds my variable called V subject. And we'll just click apply. And then you'll notice there's a copy input block. If I click that, it basically sets in my buffer what is needed for the automate workflow to use within its structure. So going back to automate, right clicking on the canvas, paste blocks, insert that in between, and then basically it has all the key value pairs of what it needs to know how to work with that application. Now you'll notice there's the auto sub. So just checking my start block is set to triggered like before, we have our input and then send a mail. So here is a hard coded value. This is a test subject. We're going to delete that. From the drop down, we're going to choose our input block. Now there are some previous examples here from previous runs. We're just going to go to example output and you can see there's the auto sub. And then we're going to click save. Now we move over back to the customer message. And you can see this is a test subject, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, before we execute this, let's bring in our email client. And I'll just set that up as a split screen. And then we're going to click button, which is going to execute the automation. And then from our inbox, we should see this is our test subject, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if we go in here and say, Hello, please check your order and then click the button again. Back to our email client. And there we go. Hello, please check your order. So this is dynamically setting parameters or inputs from the application and sending it over as a key value pair that can be dynamically inserted into the Outlook email block. Now in the next video, we're going to take this to the next level and incorporate selections and passing appropriate data values over to the message. 